Hey everybody, we're here for the new episode of the show that has yet to be named. I'm here with Putty and JD. Hit that like button. Subscribe if you're not subscribed. And then I'll tell you what we're going to talk about. Okay, you've made it now. <laughs> you've selected one. Uh, we're going to be talking about our best performances by a musician in a movie. So, well, let's just, <laughs> I- I'm just going to let Putty go first. So it's going to go Putty, okay. JD, me. Okay. It is capped. I haven't got to say that a long time. I have two caps. Okay, well, let's just let's get so our do caps I. So I do I. This okay, okay. first time I've capped in a I long time. One. I only, actually won't have, only have one cap. Okay. It is. It is. Courtney Love, Man on the Moon. All right. Ooh, I forgot about that one. And Madonna and Dick Tracy. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> yes, because that's the one, and 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 I'm I didn't pick that, so that's good. Uh-huh. Okay. Oh. Um. You're next, JD. Okay. Um, caps. Cher and Moonstruck and Dolly Parton in 9 to 5. Oh, oh Excellent yeah. Excellent choices. Yeah. Okay. So for me, number five, I have no caps at this level. Uh, I have Mark Wahlberg in uh, Boogie Nights. Yeah, Boogie Nights. Yeah, at that yeah. time, he was only really known for being a musician. Is it, is you're yeah. right. You're right. Yeah. Yep. That was one of his. That's, See, this that is was an argument I had with myself. So that we was might as well talk about this now. Uh, like for like Will Smith, for example, he's which, made a career. I, I have it as an honorable mention for King Richard, but I felt like at this point he's been an actor for thirty years. Does it count anymore that he was a musician at some point? You know what I mean. I, I, at, well, at this point, some people don't even know him as a musician that's anymore. Was he, if, had was I he, anybody like younger than twenty five? Yeah, anybody younger than yeah. twenty five does not realize Will Smith was a musician. Had you picked him in one of his early movies, I understand. But like, if you're picking him now, like even Mark Wahlberg, no one remembers Mark Wahlberg was even a yeah. musician. Yeah, um, okay, I would say so, even and Independence Day would count. Yeah, because that anything was anything in the nineties. Yeah, I, I would I, say. I, well, I messed up on that one because no, what, you like, can what, have whoever you want, man. Oh, uh, right. uh, number four, buddy. Well, then that's where we're going right now. I he, he just slapped somebody. All right. But he did good in this movie. It's Will Smith, The Pursuit of Happiness. Yeah, that's good. That's that's yeah. mid range. And that's I was mid-range. like, that's the, yeah. I got to give him props for that one. That's he, like his he, first he really him. powerful role. Yes. So mm-hmm. I will. His first dramatic. Uh, yeah. yeah. And he did good. That he was good. good. Okay. I mean, he was pretty uh, good in Six Degrees of Separation. Well, oh, that was better for me. But I felt like this was more. It, it, it was better for him. It, it yeah, was yeah, yeah. Him a better person. Yeah. It was just yeah. Um, my number four caps again. Um. The first one in my number four is Mandy Moore and Saved. Fucking oh, great, man. Movie. Like, can we talk, talk about Macaulay mentioned. Culkin? Okay, no, we can't. Macaulay Culkin continue. in that movie is fantastic. I, I feel like Mandy Moore for me, the reason I didn't pick her is because I was picking her more based on looks and not really talent. But she, she was talented. You yeah, know but I mean? she was excellent in that film. Yeah, yeah, only in that one movie. Yeah. Um, And the other one, it's because it's an ensemble cast. I went with Ocean's, the original Ocean's Eleven with the Rat Pack. Hey, you know what? I'll take these because you guys are helping me knock off things I wanted to talk about later, and it makes it easier for the video. All right, so my number four, I have a caps. My first of two caps. Uh, for those who don't know what caps is, is a tie. Uh, my number four <laughs> is Ice Cube in Boys in the Hood and Tupac in Juice. I think both of these performances are super, super powerful. Yeah, for both of them, it's their best performances, I think. And yeah. It was early on in both of their careers, and, and they only played small roles, but had such an impact on the outcome of everything in the movie and the level that it took the movie to. Good choices, good choices. Buddy. Okay. All right, number three. Uh, mine is... Actually, okay, no, I'm just going to say, Justin Timberlake and The Social Network. Okay? I was going to pick him for oh, other yeah. stuff, too, but the thing is, it's just... Uh, were you gonna pick uh, him for the Love Guru? No, well, no, not that. No, I didn't. Was it, no, there was a fight movie he played in for that. Was he wasn't too bad? No, what was it? Fuck, there was another one. He was too bad. Alpha, uh, he was pretty good. No, no, the one that is, is Alpha, the one that we had the numbers on his hand. No, that's time. Uh, yeah, time I, I actually, I, yeah. Isn't it just called it? time? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, clock stoppers. But anyway. No. I, don't mean, right. <laughs> so, I think it's just called time. But anyway, my point to the thing is he, he wasn't bad in that. And it, 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 that was a point where I said, okay, maybe Justin Timberlake can act. And then, you know, here we go. This movie it perfectly showed it. Um, there you go. <laughs> number three for me is a bit of a cheat. It's one film, but there were multiple musicians in this movie. And that's Tommy. Mainly Roger Daltrey in the film 
as the lead character of Tommy, but you had performances by Tina, Eric Clapton, the rest of the who it was just so many other musicians in this movie that I couldn't not pick this movie. And it's a great movie too, based on a musical based on an album. Yeah. Based on a song. Uh, Elton John, Pinball Wizard, yeah. baby. All right. So my number three is Caps. This is my final one. Oh, my second. Um, I have Cher in Moonstruck and Bjork in Dancer in the Dark. Okay, my number two, mm-hmm. Bjork, Dancer in the Dark. Yeah. Yes. All right, yeah. there we go. I'm good. I'm uh, so happy. My, well, Putty, if you got your number two, I'm going to say my number two. Yeah. It's this guy right here, David Bowie in Labyrinth. He's, he's top Ooh. on American. It's just because he's Listen, fun, but I knew he wasn't I, really... I've always hated, like, you know, my I don't like the Princess Bride. That's how off topic. No, yeah. I've never liked Labyrinth, and I've never liked Legend, and I don't understand why anybody likes them. Oh, Legends. I love Legend. Mm-hmm. Tim I mean, Curry I is, love... like, such a good performance in that yeah, film. Yeah, Tim Curry's always good, and, and when you're a young kid in the uh, late 80s, 80s and early 90s, everyone loves Jennifer Connelly. Um, so, moving on to my number two. It's me, right? Mm-hmm. Okay, uh, Alana Haim in uh, Licorice Pizza. Oh, I forgot about that one. I just watched that recently too. Damn it! And she's never acted ever. No, she hasn't. Not even a fan of her music. They have a good one, good album. <laughs> one good album. Buddy, number go. one, number one for me. Oh, uh, Ice Cube, Boys in the Hood. It's a good choice. Yeah. Uh, I, I, I don't one. have to explain it. I just, I know yeah. that movie became addictive and it was just at the right age. The, the, the only reason why I wore this t shirt is because the other t shirt's in the wash, and my number one is Purple Rain Prince. All right. Well, that eliminates that for me. So that's good. I still have some, uh, some things to talk about post match. Mm-hmm. Um, my number one is Aquafina in The Farewell. I've not seen that yet. Now that I'm a yeah, fan of hers, I want to see it. I think my I list is list. mostly based on the quality of the performance against the quality of the movie, as well as how surprising I how surprised I was by the performance. Um, because like I was not expecting her to do this after all the comedies that she's in, and she spent her whole life being a comedian, and in this movie, it's so like. It's used in a different way. It's weaponized in a different way. And uh, it really worked for me. So, okay. So we we're sticking to the, the normal format of honorable mention. Mm-hmm. Uh, Putty, do you want to say an honorable mention? It, it's going to be on both lists. And it, 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 it's going to be funny where it's going to be at in the next one as well. That's Eminem 8 Mile. <laughs> I'm just putting really? it out there. You, you know what I mean? It might not even. Out- can I just say something? There was yeah. not one mention of UHF. UHF. Well, see the thing. Oh, I why? How would I forget about that? I'm an idiot. No, but you want to know something? I can't believe it. If Multiverse. That your, if that was your honorable mention, <laughs> I would have been like, "Yes, that's exactly what I expect." Because your list is very strong, and yeah. Weird Al's performance is not better than anyone you named on your list. <laughs> but I mean, okay, so we're gonna allow Putty to make his his uh, honorable mention to Weird Al on UHF. <laughs> so, oh my god, this is gonna be hilarious. Like, you gotta chop it up, dude. You gotta make it like, <laughs> what uh, as, as you can clearly see Weird Al in the background of his uh setup and the hat on top of Deadpool. <laughs> the UHF. It's, it's funny, I took oh it off the list because of, because of the other one. Because in my head, I was like, no, that's for the other video. And I'm like, you dumbass. No. Hey, you know what? It works out. So, JD, you want to throw an honorable mention out there? Yeah, I'm throwing uh, Phil Collins in Buster. Wow. That's a deep cut. I don't even think anybody knows what that is. Uh, it's, uh, it's a movie based on the Great Chain Robbery in 1963. Uh, Phil Collins plays one of the, I guess, robbers from that. Movie. Yeah. I don't know if I played a hobo, but yeah, he's a robber. Yeah. Um, my okay, my honorable mention. I tied it up. I don't care. Uh, I don't care because it's my show. I'll do whatever I want. Mm. Um, I have Dolly Parton in Nine to Five, and I have Lady Gaga in A Star Is Born. I'm and the reason I have that, that is because the performance is good, the movie is good, but to me, it was mostly surprising because after watching. And I'm not a big fan of American Horror Story, but I watched uh, enough of that season that she's in just because I was intrigued that she was in the show. That's the whole one, right? she is horrible. 
And everyone says that her performance in that is really good. I don't know what anybody watched because it is like almost unwatchable. Mm-hmm. Bad. But then this movie, she's like fantastic in it, and it's really crazy. Um, because then she's also terrible in the Gucci movie, whatever it's called. Uh, House of uh, House, House of Gucci Gucci Coo. Oh, yeah, yeah, where yeah. she is an Italian girl from New York, and she talks about it every day of her entire life, every interview that she's ever done. And then she did a Russian accent for an entire movie where she's supposed to be an Italian. So I don't know what that was about. Um, pretty bad. Mo- moving on. Uh, does anyone else have anything they want to throw out there? You ain't Flee and Back to the Future? Who? <laughs> Flee and Back to the oh, Future. Flea is back oh, my to- God. Hey, yeah, how about right. Flee and uh, Obi-Wan? Obi-Wan. That was pretty good. I got Judy Garland in Wizard of Oz. But I think at this point, no one remembers that she was a musician. Yeah. No. Um, Queen Latifah in Chicago. Yeah, I saw that a lot. Too. I prefer Queen Latifah in, in Man of the House. Man of the House. Yeah, Steve right. Martin. <laughs> uh, I have Madonna in a league of a league of their own. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that was on my own. I put slash Dick Tracy because oh, no. I, I figured one of you was going to pick Dick Tracy, so I could erase that off my list. Uh, she's actually really good in a league of their own. Yeah, which apparently is. there's she a TV is, yeah. show of it now. Yeah. Which no one, they never got advertised about. It just came <laughs> out. Um, how about Olivia Newton-John in Greece? She just okay, never watched Greece. You've never it's seen never Greece? Seen Greece? I've never seen Greece, buddy. I never cared for it. That's the best John Travolta it's movie what, that it exists. You have to understand what John... Or not Broken the, Arrow? Yeah, but oh, the, what makes it so great is because it's so campy. But no, what makes it so great Earth. is that it absolutely sucks. Battlefield <laughs> Earth. Uh, the best part oh. of that movie is uh, the girl who plays French, Frenchy, the for the girl from uh, from Thomas the Tank Engine or whatever it's called in Canada. Oh, Lily Tomlin there. No, Shining not Lily Time Tomlin. Station. Oh, Shining Time, Time Station. Station. What the hell's her name? Oh my gosh, I'm gonna have to look that up. Shining Time. Didi Khan. Didi Khan. Okay, so Putty, you. Uh, Oh, tell us about something on your list. Get tell us about Dick Tracy. It's Dick Tracy, people in makeup, <laughs> sexy Madonna, uh, and Aren't you uh, gonna frisk me? Action figures. I mean, it was a kid yeah. at the time. Like, can... I'll be honest with you. I saw it one time later, and I did enjoy. It. What made me really enjoy it was the effects were more. They did for that time. I felt like the effects for that the movie were amazing. Yeah, you know when I mean? you go back and watch it now, all the colors and the sets and stuff, it's really cool. Actually, yeah. like how they got that all done. It's very comic booky. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah, to nail the essence of comic book, that was basically it. And mm-hmm. I, first of all, it deserves a remake. Um, I agree in I agree. a TV show form, I think. But and like, and Madonna was hot. Don't get me wrong. Like, Madonna was pretty hot for her entire career. Yeah. But like, for some reason, in Dick Tracy, she's on like another level where it's like she never ever looked like that again. Maybe it was just right. the way they stylized her. And that famous image of her in that little slinky black dress there. Yeah, you know what? Shout out to Madonna. If you want to call me, you know, I know you're like seventy. I don't know. Who she has. I don't know. I. Oh, yeah. She has an OnlyFans. So does she really? Yeah. Uh, that's hilarious. Allegedly. Yeah. Allegedly. Allegedly. Supposedly. Allegedly. Campbell's no, like the does. number one subscriber. Yeah, I'm, 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 I'm the highest tier. I'm Papa Giorgio mm-hmm. tier. Papa Giorgio. Yeah. Papa John's. <laughs> All right, so so who? What else do you guys have that nobody else had on their list? Enough, I have guys, saved that nobody yeah, had. On their I, list. I had saved all my honorable. Everything you guys basically said was on my. I didn't want to do a big honorable mentions like we used to, yeah. but just in case, I had extras. Yeah. Um, yeah. But saved, Tommy, I, she was really good. Yeah, I, I'm not the hugest fan. I'm not the biggest fan. I like the music. I don't really like the yeah. movie. Yeah. Okay. Oh, no, no, that one need to come for me. Now that I think about it. Well, was was any of uh, the Pink Floyd involved with uh, uh, The Wall at all? Or were that they wrote like the music. Musical? Yeah. Because I know, I know the concept is based off their, their uh, thing, but, you know. Yeah. That'd be something in a different direction, I would say. <laughs> so. Okay, how about Cher and Moonstruck? Yeah, J.D., you mentioned that. I have that yeah. as well. I, that, so do I. She, I. I don't remember if she got nominated for an Oscar. I think she won the Oscar for that. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, I think she won right. the Oscar and Cage was nominated. There for you that. go. Yeah, that's what it was. But that, that was a that's time. a pretty good movie. It was. Uh, that's the year she when she went to the Oscars. She had that big like 
poofy uh, thing on and, her head. And that's the director. I don't remember his name, but he did uh, Fiddler on the Roof. Mm-hmm. And he did. Heat if I were a rich man. No, no singing. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, so it was like, that's a, that's a huge role for her. Yeah. Because like, I don't think she ever was that good ever again. Like, I don't, I like to that not talk also about That also kind of started that, that kind of resurged her musical career too. Because after that, she came out with Turn Back Time and all that. I don't and know, then... I don't know. <laughs> if I could turn back I time. Uh, <laughs> only when I music. Uh, no, but yeah. I, I made uh, that. And that song was huge too. That song is is, is also um, a lot of times referenced as like the, the thing that saved music TV because they was going downhill at that point. Like yeah, music video TV, and that song like blew up, and got everyone back watching like MTV and stuff. Yeah, what is MTV anymore? That's, what, that's the point of it's everything. So. Movie television. <laughs> oh, I mean, muddled mess. Does anyone have anything else? No, because we keep this episode short. I think a lot of these performances are great. No one had Mark Wahlberg in Boogie Nights. No, I, again, I, when I was no looking, one had Mark Wahlberg in The Departed. Hmm. How do you say Mark that? Wahlberg and Ted. I have Bette Midler and Hocus Pocus. <laughs> Bette Midler and Hocus Pocus. I mean, I think she's probably better in like Beaches. Beaches, or, yeah. Or like The First Wives Club, because I love that movie. That so was a good movie. Um, Yeah, that's, uh, oh, that's it, a wait, good movie. Wait. wait, 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 wait. What about, what, 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 uh, what's his name? Uh, not Bowie, but oh, I would say Bowie. Um, Billy and, uh, Idol, singer. Billy Idol. Thank you for the wedding singer. That's exactly oh yeah, his ten of. second cameo. <laughs> That's more yeah. As I was looking. Billy when, Idol. I was doing yeah. I was doing my list. That was I. I kind of tried to keep cameos out, I, I, especially I, I, when I, they're I, playing I, themselves. Yeah. <laughs> um, um. You know, Barbara I, Streisand in a Star Wars. I was going to put the way we were, but the way we were, that's a good choice as well. I was, I didn't, yeah. I've never seen this movie, but I was, I was actually waiting for someone to say Dream Girls because it's so big. Well, Dream you know Girls I mean? has. A really good performance by Jennifer Hudson. Um, but I think to me personally, Eddie Murphy is the star of that movie. Yeah. Um, but Beyonce is pretty decent in it as well. And we all know what happened with Beyonce and Goldmember, which was like one of the worst performances <laughs> of, of all time. That's all I do I do have Elvis in Jailhouse Rock though. How about Elvis yeah. and Elvis? Yeah, any Elvis movies basically. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Those are like his two best, probably. Yeah, but almost all of them are very similar. Yeah, but like, I would say Jailhouse Rock only because that was like one of his first ones, right? Yeah, so he well, wasn't. He, if nobody knows this, Elvis under contract, I believe it was with whoever it was MGM. I think it was MGM. Or, yeah, uh, he or was releasing like two movies a year. That he was like the only star in, in every one of the movies, and they were all basically the same movie. Well, I got to shoot on Hawaii. Okay, baby, I'm there. Guy, uh, <laughs> cute guy sings, but he's in the army now. Cute guy sings, but he's a chef. Like it's like all the same. That's true thing. though. Cute guy sings, but he's in jail. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's all, every, cute, cute guy sings, but he wears blue velvet. Wait, no, wait. No, that's blue Hawaii. He wears a Hawaiian <laughs> blue shirt. Hawaii, wrong movie. Uh, not blue velvet not was blue Hopper. Velvet. That's, that's that's a good yeah. movie. Yeah, that's uh, uh, David Lynch. Yeah, Dennis Hopper. Uh, yeah. Wait, is that David Lynch? I think so. Yeah, I'm pretty or is sure. It it the is. Other, or is it the other weird guy? They're all weird now. Cronenberg? No, not Cronenberg. Cronenberg's more. <laughs> Lars von Trier? Yeah. Kelly uh, Rowland and Freddy vs. Jason. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> Both the performance and the movie were horrible. Any, oh, any, I like rapper the movie. It's in any comedy movie from 1998 until 2005. <laughs> Where, what about Soul what Blade. about Red Man and Method Man? How high? Hey, how high is actually good. <laughs> yeah, mm-hmm. that's what I. Mean. Yeah, Soul I didn't even Plane. think of that. I can't believe I don't have. Was that, that on Snoop Dogg one? Car wash. Car. Uh, you know what? In the movie <laughs> The Wash, that's it. The Eminem wash, yeah. is is actually really good playing like the psychopath in that movie. Eminem, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> what was the other one? I was just thinking of she. Friday. She Yeah, Friday. <laughs> I mean, Ice Cube is really good on Friday. No, uh, we're backtracking. The Wash. What did we talk about? Snoop Dogg. Snow, Soul Plane. Soul Plane. Snoop Dogg. I lost it. Uh, okay, I don't have anything else. We're going to drag this video on front. We're just naming <laughs> no, it. No, I'm done. I'm done with this. All right, guys. Thank you for watching. Let us know what your favorite performance by a musician in a movie is uh, in the comment section. And uh, peace out.